Dead or alive, you're coming with me. I'd buy that for a dollar. Robocop was one of my favourite films when I was growing up. And there's been loads and loads of video games that have been mostly okay. But now in 2023, we might finally be getting an absolutely epic Robocop game, which is Robocop Rogue City. Now, I'm not going to go into too much about the game, um, because I think you should play it yourself. Uh, there is a free demo available on Steam and I believe on the Xbox or PlayStation platforms as well. What I really want to look at today is test to see if we can go below the minimum specs on a very budget gaming PC. So the minimum specs listed on the Steam store are 64-bit processor and operating system, uh, minimum Windows 10, need either a Core i7-4790 or a minimum Ryzen 5 2600, 16GB of RAM, a GTX 1650 with 4GB of VRAM or an AMD Radeon RX 480 4GB VRAM. Sorry, not very good at, uh, at doing auto queue here. It's just below the camera, but I'll get better with your encouragement. The machine I'm going to be testing Robocop Rogue City on is a Ryzen 5 600G, 16GB of DDR4. No graphics card, so I'm just literally going to be using the Radeon APU that is on the processor. Um, and I just want to kind of show you that you don't have to spend a lot to enjoy modern titles. Uh, admittedly, might not work for all modern titles, but I just want to show you that this new one, Robocop Rogue City, will run fairly well. And it's a playable, enjoyable experience. Anyway, I'll stop waffling on and we'll take a look. So what I'm going to do first is just use Graphics Auto Detect and see what happens. Okay, so it's come up with VSync on, field view 80, full screen 1080p, upscaling with AMD FSR 2.2, and it's set to quality. So graphics, I'll just scroll down. Pretty much all set to medium, uh, with chromatic aberration set to on, motion blur on. So we will have a look and see how that runs. That looks like an Xbox 360 game. That looks marginally better. Very, very stuttery though. We'll skip the rest of the cutscene. Ooh, not good. I love that how the uh, his boots make a noise when he's moving. I think we can improve these settings. Okay, so I've now got it on to 720p. And we'll see how that is. That's a lot better. That's playable, is that? It actually, weirdly, it, it looks better as well. Like with the smoke effects, that kind of thing. <laughs> it's got a proper vibe of, uh, of the Robocop films. First and the second one, anyway. Not the vibe of the third one, because that was terrible. Let's just have a look around. It's a... It's a really good looking game, is this? Let's go up to a, an NPC. <laughs> nice hair. It's pretty good, is that? Let's move on to some action. That looks really, really impressive, actually. Say this is running on the uh, the APU. It's not awful. Right, let's see how it handles action. It's not amazingly smooth, but it works. See, we're getting 30 frames per second here most of the time. Boom, that's how you use the targeting system, is it? <laughs> Definitely playable on such a low spec machine. Right, so what I've done now is changed everything to the lowest I can. Uh, so, view distance is down to near, 
We've got AMD FSR 2.2 onto ultra performance. Everything low or switched off where possible. So let's see how this runs. Wow! Looks like a potato, but... It does run! <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I think with that draw distance, it's not not very playable. Uh, so that's that's not good. It's not much smoother. I think potentially we could get away with it in 720 with the settings on medium. But it's definitely playing and enjoyable. So I really like about this game, when you look through the scope, or what you'd normally do in like Call of Duty or something, it changes to like a, an old 80s display with the uh, scan lines, as nice as that. It's amazing what you can get out of the, uh, the Ryzen 5600G. These are now retailing for around £115 or $130, which is nothing really when you think about how much an Xbox is. Uh, or a, a PlayStation 5. Is there any other games you want me to test on this setup? Or is there any other setups you want me to test this game on? Do let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to go even older and go on to a terribly specced old, I don't know, i5-2600, something like that. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to test any particular graphics cards that I might have in my collection? Um, do you want me to see if I can get even lower spec? Um, or do you have this set up and are you playing Robocop Rogue City? Whatever your thoughts are, just put them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.